to another interesting edition of Data Structure Algorithm. I'm your host, Morgan Epikaizo Kamaju. So, data structure. So, data structure, it can be organized in many different ways, a logical or even mathematical model of a program, particularly an organization, an organization of uh, data. Or it is just, um, this is just an organized data, which is also called data structure. Or just the organized selection of data that is called data structure. So anything that is well organized is what we call data structure. Okay. So data structure is it is uh, given in the following systematic mathematical equation of which we have data structure is equal to the organized data plus the um, data structure is equal to the organized data plus plus the allowed operations. Okay, so that's what data structure comprises of. It comprises of the data structure organized data as well as the out operation <clears throat> so data structure involves two complementary goals number one the first goal is just to identify and develop useful mathematical entities and operations that will help you to determine what the, what class of problem can can be solved by using these entities and operation so that's just the first goal of data structure second goal is to determine and uh, to determine uh, the representation of these abstract entities to implement abstract operation to these concrete representation okay so let's look at this diagram that we have here so data structure which is abbreviated as in ds um so it has two uh two uh, demarcation or two uh, pathways of which we have the permit uh, the primitive data structure as well as the non-primitive data structure so on the primitive data structure we have uh, integer as well as character and uh, the balloon yeah remember in the first slide they talked about the integer the character and the balloon okay then the non-primitive data structure in here we have the linear a data structure which includes the arrow, the stack, the queue, as well as the linked list. List, yeah. Then on the non-linear data structure, we have the uh, like tree, uh, graph sets, as well as what tables. So this is where now we have these are just uh, examples of primitives of uh, the non-data uh, structure, like the non-linear uh, data structure. Okay, then we have primitive data structure. So primitive data structure, these are directly supported by a language. Directly supported by, la lang by language. That is any operation that is just directly performed in these data item. For example, it can either be an integer, it can either be a character, it can either be a real number, etc, etc. Yeah. Or then the non-primitive data types, these are just not defined by the programming language, but they are instead created by the programmer. So the ones that are non-primitive data, they are just created by the programmer. Okay. Then the linear data structure, it organizes their data element in a linear fashion. Whereas data elements are attached to one after the other. Okay, so that's how it goes. They're just attached one after the other. Linear data structure. These are very easy to implement since the memory of the computer is also recognized in a linear fashion. So the memory of the computer is recognized linearly because it's in the linear fashion. Okay. Then let's look at um, some common uh, some commonly used a uh, linear data structure, which are just arrows, the linked list, the stackers, and the queues. 
So in learning structures, data elements are not organized in a sequential fashion, okay? Then data structures, they are just like uh, multi-dimensional uh, arrows, okay? Like a tree, graph, tables, and the seats are some of the examples that are widely used in a non-linear data structure, okay? Now, let's quickly look at the operation on data structure. What are some of the variables or the operation entities that are applicable in data structure? Start with, so the following operation can be performed on the data structure. Number one, traversing. Do you, do you, do you, really, you really need to remember this. Traversing is the number one. Number two, searching is also used in data structure then in satan then deleting then sorting then merging okay so let's start by looking at what traversing is okay okay so so like these are the ones that I just use. Okay, we start with searching. Searching is just used to find, like if you want to find the location of an item or if it exists in a given collection of data items. So you need to search for that. In searching, this is just used to add a new data item in a, in a given collection of data items. Then deleting, it is just... Use, we usually use it to remove or rather delete an existing data in terms of a given correction of data items then the other component okay traversing this one is used to access like to give access to each data item exactly once so that it can be processed okay so to traverse is just like as it's used to give data access to give each data access uh, it, to give each data item access and exactly exactly once it has already been processed so that is what we call traversing okay now the fifth one is sorting so when you talk about sorting sorting is just you're trying to sort things which one will start first which one is going to end or to 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 be the last one okay so in here it is used just to arrange the data item in some order that is ascending order or descending order in case of uh, numerical data or in a dictionary order in case of just numerical data okay so then six it's just merging so merging talk about the natural uh, language as well as the programming language and all those things when you image them together you combine them together to make something that is useful and meaningful that is just that to make them to form a data item of two sorted a freeze into a single file in a sorted form okay all right this has been your host i'm morgan epica Izu jr be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and also comment in the link description below where you not clear so that we continue for more sessions for more interesting sessions on our data structure and algorithms